Hey there, hi there, ho there, welcome to the special web version of Road Trip Extra. I'm Rob Martin, of course, host of Road Trip every Friday night on the TV side on Brooklyn Free Speech 1. That's some of the channels including Offman and Spectrum and RCN and Verizon Files. At 11.30 p.m., you can check your local television listings for time and channel you'll see at the end of the show. But right now, we're going to talk a little bit about what happened this past week. Last Saturday was an exciting night for the B-Free Awards. It's the fifth annual celebration. And it was a lot of fun. It was great. And of course, you get to see the post-party interviews from the B-Free Awards coming up on October 6th. That will be also mean our Road Trip's third anniversary show. So it's very special. You got to join us. We'll meet all the winners from the B3 Awards plus one extra person. So it's a little surprise. Maybe get her to say the story. So be sure to join us for the post award show and the very anniversary show. This is all in one night coming up next Friday, October 6th at 11 30 on the TV side on Brooklyn Free Speech and of course online on all social medias. But for today, we're going to tell you what's been happening this past week as we take a look how they did in the awards this past week. For example, it was a lot of fun. The B Free Awards was all about entertainment and terrific shows, over 2,100 hours of free speech television, and lots of great shows. And of course, I was one of them, as a matter of fact, and so is Art Kurtz and Phil Manners and Jared Scholar, and Brianna Martinez, Holly Kurtz, Beatrice Kurtz, and Order Blackwood. They're all in the whole team when you get two separate shows in just one night. And so, we're going to take a look back at the Red Carpet Show, and then how we did this year. And of course, one of which is the awards. And I didn't make it to finalists, but I still end up with two more certificates to add to the Be Hilarious and Best Variety. But Art did get one of them, and I'm going to show you one from last year as well as the finalists for Be Hilarious. So let's start with the red carpet portion as we take a look at one of the most exciting ones. And we started off with Art Kurtz, Phil Manners, Jared Scholar, and Bianca Martinez as they talk about their game show, Block Party. And then after that, it's Hard for Blackman and I as we talk about our show and how we did so far. Here's how they did. What's happening for you tonight and who are these people that you have with you? Well, we're here nominated for the Game Show Block Party. You like game shows, don't you? Of course. And I'm sure you watch <laughs> us Friday at 1230. And Saturday at 8. And this before. is one of the shows that you produce, and you're up for an award. That's the one we produce. And these are really important people. The Game Show Block Party is a show that's by game show fans, for game show fans. This is my co-producer, Phil Manners. Hi, Phil. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? What do you think about being able to have access to resources like that? Oh, it's really exciting. I mean, it because everybody, you know, you have to be in Hollywood, you have to be behind the curtain. This time, we're in front of the curtain. It's us. So we all can do our own show, and we can do that too, and be creative and show people how creative we are, you know? And I would imagine that you learn a lot, because we actually do have state-of-the-art equipment. Oh, Young lady, uh, what is your role with it? Well, I also did some voiceovers during the show, and I also did a little bit of recording and things like that, yeah. What do you like most about your experience? Um, there were a lot of factors that I liked. I just liked, you know, do it, being able to do a little bit of everything, you know, learn more about recording itself. These were all interesting factors. Working with art was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know what? You were, uh, weren't here earlier, but he actually paid them for that comment. And young man over here, tell us quickly, what is it that you do with the project and what do you like most? Okay, so we important. got a little bit more time. Yeah, that's so important. All right. This is Bianca and Jared, and over at Mill Basin Day Camp. Mill Basin Day Camp. Where we tape the shows at Mill Basin Day Camp Game Show Studio. They are my producers, and they produced it for two summers uh, coming. We've been there for 10. They were with me for the last two. 
and they are fantastic. Without them, I can't have a show. All right, well, with the, with now that we got him on camera saying that, ask for something a little extra in your envelope. So uh, what about you, young man? Give us your name and what you, how you participated on the show and what you really learned. Um, my name is Jared Sklar, and I am the technical producer um, for the show. So basically, I um, you know, help out with the sound, lighting, um, recording it. I make sure it all comes together. Okay. And uh, what did you learn through being a part of this particular free speech uh, community access project? Well, I'm a sound designer for like a lot of like off-Broadway shows. So I actually learned um, how to do sound for, um, you know, on camera, um, in addition to, you know, um, my knowledge in off-Broadway sound. And there is a difference. Yes, there is a difference, because you got to make sure, you know, that everything's picking up, you know, and syncing to the video, the sound is syncing to the video so that, like, it works out well. Beautiful. So do you have any hopes and dreams for uh, the project uh, as the producers? What would you like to see happen next? Oh, wow, that's a very good question. I mean, we love game shows, and we're just doing them because we just want to have fun. And who knows? Maybe someone out there was saying, you know, I like those guys. Maybe we come off from them a deal, you know? But dreams can come true sometimes. But again, we just do it for fun. You See, know? what we do, we're an anthology series, so we always come up with a different game show format. It's never the same thing every week. Over at Mill Basin Day Camp, we do have about three or four games we tape over the summer. They air over the year right here, and the kids get to watch them, as well as hopefully everybody else. And, um, but we're always looking for different formats and different people to come and play. So we always, uh, we have a website, gameshowblockparty.com. That, no, it's not. Weekly, uh, gameshowblockparty. Yeah. Weekly. Gameshowblockparty. Anywho. And yeah, they'll figure it out. Yeah. And so we'd love to have people come down. We want more people to play our games. Okay. And this is taped and takes place uh, in Mid Midwood. And finally, before I toss to, to my uh, co-host who's waiting to have someone else, um, when you come down to Brick, or you're a part of free speech, right? Is it you run across people in neighborhoods and communities that you might not otherwise do, right? What what has that experience been like when you see the creative work of all the other community producers from different neighborhoods? Does that matter? Oh, it's great to connect with people, you know, because everybody could share what we do, and it's a very good way to share display the process, you yeah. know. It's well, we really cool it. to see what other people can do, and then you exchange ideas, and hey, it only improves uh, how you do your work and how they do your work, and people like what we do, people, I like what people, other people do. I messed that up, I'm sorry. But <laughs> right, well, don't, don't worry about, about it. it. You know you're, the pretty, you're the so producer, well. you sign the checks, so you can mess up. Yeah, Listen, right. congratulations, right. and good luck on your talk show, and, and, and good luck on game the show, awards, game your, your game, game show, show, and good luck on the awards tonight, and we're gonna go back to Jessica, who's got some more community and character. With Ron, what, Ron, what part of Brooklyn are you from? I'm from near Bethenhurst, close to Coney Island. Okay, okay. And young lady, what is your name? Audra. Audra. And what? Tell us about your show and uh, what you're here tonight for. Well, we're here for Course Be Hilarious, the second year in a row. Last year, just lost. By Congratulations. A yeah, and last year got lost by a puppet. Last year, it was it was an exciting one, but I'm happy for this guy. So, some TV, I think you've been challenged this year, folks. But anyway, pop culture, entertainment, food, charitable events. I did a couple game shows. Audrey's been doing our camera work for our 100th show, who's part of the family. And, of course, we have a good team of um, writers, producers. Our Kurt Spill Matters also contributed to the show, including the one I'll be doing next week, which will be our April Fool show. Oh, wow. Well, if it's the Lee Harry, the Hilarious Awards, I'm dying to see that April Fool show. So listen, you've been doing camera and other forms of production, and you've learned some of that through our public access uh, facility here. What do you think about what's happening here? Well, to, me, it's awesome, to me, it's a quite uh, awesome experience right here. So I, I have the opportunity to uh, feel the camera, know what it's like to edit, cut, and do all that. Beautiful. Well, it sounds like you guys are on your way. Last question. When you think about community and character, what does that really mean for you? Well, a lot of communities, you know, like sharing and doing some great activities, like charitable, like giving back to the people. That's what I did recently when I did a special hurricane, 40 different hurricanes in one month. And I want to give a shout out to Maria Capanella, who does a uh, did three hurricanes from Hurricane Maria to a few other hurricanes. We don't have time to mention about that. And we did an episode about this, and 
Everybody came back with some great donations. Tonight. That's beautiful. And let's, let's not forget those people who can't be with us, like in Puerto Rico, et cetera, because of the hurricanes. So thank you for being, being uh, with us and sharing information. And good luck with your Be Hilarious Ward. Back to you, Jessica. So those are two of the red carpet ones that was fantastic. And they did a sensational job on that evening's uh, awards program. Now we came inside and we talk about the awards. It's for two of the best shows that we have done and it's my third award into the awards which I got my certificates earlier this week and so does Art Kurtz. But before we show Art's way got finalists, first we're going to show you back in 2017 of the most exciting moments of the B3 awards, awards and then Arts Awards, but I can put in a little extra sentence. The puppets did rule the awards when not only my show won, but I'll let you see the second one. So here's back last year first, and then the one that Art got into this year. Take a look. Award for Best Entertainment. Be Hilarious is a comedy-based show. It could be sketch humor, coverage of a comedic presentation, or any other show that's me meant to make us laugh. So before we go to the finalists, I gotta say something, cause she corrected me, she's not 12, she's 13 and three quarters. <laughs> all right, so, okay, yeah. all right, okay, now we can go on. So our finalists for best entertainment, be hilarious, are... Now the walls do bleed on an alarming and regularity Benedict and there's so present. She loves night whaling. That's my favorite kind of whale. Also, the bathrooms are recently refinished. Uh, let's take a look. This is a great bathroom. But are you sure there's actual paranormal activity and not just your standard household noises? All right. Hey, yeah. Nicholas Lemon for some TV. Oh, let's get high. Oh, look at us, we're oh. Canadians getting high. Oh. <laughs> I'm from Vancouver. Oh, I'm from Halifax. Eh? Hey, look, I can see the CN Tower. Oh, look at that. Hello, CN Tower. Jump. Oh. Hello, CN Tower. <laughs> this is rigged. The whole thing Ron is rigged. Ron Rondon, road trip with Ron Rondon. Oh. I'm the most deleted person in Snapchat history. Oh my god, which I guess I can say it's an honor. It is, it is. It's more like a game now when I have to make new accounts. So not only are you like a funny man on Vine, but also you moved on to Snapchat along with Instagram. And Facebook, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everywhere, yeah. Now you did get your start on Vine, which see, needless to say, it did get shut down. What are your thoughts on that? I I'm really sad about Vine getting shut down. <laughs> Oh my god. And the winner for Best Entertainment Be Hilarious is she looks just like me. Nicholas oh, Lemon, some TV. Okay, you know what I'm taking off. Oh, no. uh, I suspect you're going to take a shower. A very hot one. Make sure you use shampoo instead of soap. It's easier on your uh... Putting your fingers in our mouths. Don't put your fingers in my mouth. I don't know where they've been. Don't do that. <clears throat> Thank you. I am not Nicholas Lemon, nor is this Nicholas Lemon. Nicholas could not be here tonight because he's Canadian. <laughs> but if he were, he would like to thank Brick Network and Be Free Awards for giving him this opportunity. He'd also like to thank his American producing partners, Paul McGinnis and Noel McNeil, that's this guy, and we would also like to thank Karen and David Tinline for all the behind the scenes work, his writing partners, Randall Willis and Marsha Mason for helping him create this, to Kevin Scott and the entire cast for doing all they could to make some TV a reality. And in closing, Nicholas would like to leave you with two life thoughts. One from the Muppet movie, life is like a movie, write your own ending. The other is from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Run away! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you and good night. Thank you. It's awarded each year to the on-air personality that absolutely keeps your attention riveted.
The finalists for this year's Wow Factor are Mercury Robinson, The Break Room. excited to have you. You already know it's Mercury the personality here for you and I have a great show for you today. The break room. Welcome to the break room. The break room. Welcome to Hey there, I'm Brandeis. And I'm Elsie. <laughs> and today we're going to tell you about one of the coolest words in the world. Oh, what's that, Miss Brandeis? Well, the word is entrepreneur. Huh? Entrepreneur. We're playing color match, and if your wheels land on the same color as always, uh, you'll win 2,000 mil bucks. There we go. Let's see if we can get some money. Uh-oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I also heard your mommy told me that you play chess. She's a chess champ, y'all. But what's the king? The king is the most important piece on the board. And I thought it was the queen. The I queen. thought it was the queen. Okay. The queen is the most powerful, but the king oh. is the most important. I'm just trying to get more and more round. I can and I'm just compressing with my inner thumb. I can lean forward more. I can press down more. And really, you can center your clay just like this. I can also yeah. cut some of that extra clay away from the bottom. Bring it in this direction. Oh! Right. 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 Okay, let's keep brainstorming because you're on the right track. Oh, wait, one second. Keep it going for Brandeis, everybody. Oh. Hey, what am I cooking? All right, they look good. Mmm, it tastes good. Um, thank you guys so much. This is actually my second time winning this, so I'm grateful for the opportunity. And I just want to thank you guys, the Brooklyn Free Speech community that has always welcomed me, allows us to have great content, um, to my wonderful team members who helped me put this together. Um, sorry, guys, I'm out of breath from running down from that balcony. <laughs> uh, Samuel Smith, a great videographer, Kimuel Charles, and Jen Moyes, who also helped me put it together. And... I just consider myself fortunate to be among many makers and doers, and we did this to empower strong women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. Thank you. So there you go. So that makes it Puppets 2, Art and Run, nil. Well, I could have said that. Well, two shells with two puppets, they have ruled the third awards. So I lost for Be Hilarious last year. This year, he lost for, of course, the wow factor. But I just go to show you, you get through to the finalists, it's a plus. Just like I did last year. It's a plus to everything, and they have just done just so. So congratulations are this year for making it to the finals. And hope 2019 coming up, it's going to be the sixth annual B3 Awards. They to be announced on our next road trip coming up at the end of the year. So, so what we do? So, I want to tell my advice to you people: if you want to join in, and if you want to produce your own show, your public asset show on TV, just like I did, all you have to do just uh, submit four original episodes that she did in a length of 28 minutes and 30 seconds no more than that time and then you send it right to the Brick Art Studios which is at 647 Fulton Street they give you everything you got to know including the orientation and everything else plus they will train you and everything else and who knows you could be a TV star the next Brooklyn Free Speech TV stars because even though that Brick Arts Media has already got so much Emmy nominations and won a few Emmys from them 
it's a proud moment and it's a rewarding feeling not only on being part of the Brick Arts family, it's worth every bit of it. So once again, we thank you for watching and thank you and congratulations to Art and everybody else. And don't forget to uh, join us on October 6th for our Fee Free Awards After Party interviews and our third anniversary show right here on Road Trip. And join us this Friday for the April Fool's edition of Road Trip. I don't know what kind of surprises we got in store, but keep watching. It's going to be very funny. Uh, from our Brick Arts post-production studios, I'm Ron Rodden. Bye-bye and bye-bonds.